Nigeria is endowed with over 92 million hectares, of which 82 million are arable land. The agricultural sector's contribution to the nation's gross domestic product stands at 24.4 percent. But in spite of these great potentials, the sector may be facing some setbacks with the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, which has led to a lockdown in several parts of the country. Two weeks ago, the Food and Agriculture Organization projected that a food crisis is imminent following the restriction and movement of persons and goods owing to the pandemic. We should prepare for the worst. And by preparing for the worst means right now we should even start the logistics of distribution of seed, input, etc., you know, uh, um, uh, land preparation right now to make sure the, the fertilizer are in the, uh, in the states, if, if possible even in the local government, the agrochemicals, the seed and everything are already in the local government. Figures from PricewaterCoopers shows that between 1980 and 2016, yam production increased from 5.2 million to 44.1 million tons. Cassava rose from 11.5 million to 57.1 million tons and rice grew from 1 million to 6 million tons. <laughs> to boost agriculture in the country, the federal government announced a ban on food importation and this has led to a significant improvement in the sector. We are in April, the rainy season has started and uh, most people are locked down in their homes. So it's going, to affect, it's going to affect us very adversely. That is internally. Externally, many of the, most of the food we consume in Nigeria are also imported. And many of those countries we are importing from are having very severe um, crisis when it comes to the uh, COVID um, uh, pandemic. So we can expect prices to increase. And let us just pray that this um, ends very soon. The effect of the COVID-19 pandemic is taking a toll on all sectors of the economy. What is important at the moment is for the government to take caution by acting fast to mitigate any impact on food supply chain.